Hi guys and welcome back to HFV Europa League is back, namely the season 2022-2023 of course and we will start with match day one here in Budapest, Hungary, my hometown, it's gonna be my local club and my favorite club as well, Ferenc Varos facing the reigning champions of Turkey, Trabzonspor. Now Ferenc Varos are also the reigning champions of uh, Hungary, 33 times champions as well, 24 times cup winners, both are records. And as far as I know, this is going to be the first clash of these two two teams. Group H of Europa League, the other participants from pot 1 and pot 2 are uh, Ressar Belgrade or as the locals know Cervena Zvezda and also AS Monaco from France or well Monaco if we if you put it that way. Today's home team Ferenc Aros was in pot 3 and Trabzonspor was in pot 4 but that's quite surprising it's obviously coefficient but still if you look at pot 4 uh, Trabzonspor are by far the most difficult opponent to face. Turkey is known for having crazy and very passionate fans. Uh, I'm interested in uh, how many away supporters will be there in the stadium today. But one thing's for sure, it's gonna be a cracking game. It's gonna be a great atmosphere. I don't think we we sold it out, but almost. And also what Ferenc Aros are doing is very good for Hungarian domestic football, especially the coefficient points, because we qualified to Europe for the fourth consecutive season. We had first Europa League, then Champions League, then again Europa League, and now again Europa League. We beat Shamrock Rovers in the Europa League qualifications in the playoff. Obviously, we started in the Champions League. We won the first round uh, against Tobol Kostanay from Kazakhstan, the second round round against Slovan Bratislava, the champions of Slovakia. And the third, in the third round we lost against uh, the current uh, champions of Azerbaijan Karabakh, but then they lost the playoffs as well against Victoria Plzeň. So uh, they're also in the in the Europa League. We could have faced each other actually, but they were drawn into another group. So, but back to Trabzonspor and back to Ferenc Aros. It's gonna be a cracking game. It is venue, the home of Ferenc Aros, is Grupama Arena, capacity of 22,000 people. We're there soon, so next cut, walking to the stadium dark now nothing better than evening games 9 p.m kickoff and we have some special guests to watch the game with today the first is my little brother as always your score prediction for today hi guys uh, i think it's gonna be 2-1 for fans lunch. 2-1 i don't have a prediction yet but here we will have our second special guest a friend from a man what's up so uh the light on him please Hi, hi. You're from? Germany. You support? Nuremberg. That's that's in Nuremberg. That's right, guys. And your score prediction for today? Uh, gonna be a tough one, but I guess 2-1 for Ferenc Varos. That's the same way he said. Oh, that's great. So let's go to the stadium. And here we have the other special guest. You are from? Sweden. You support? Malmö. And your score prediction for today? 4-0, Ferenc Varos.
Messages with the ball to Traore. Traore facing two defenders, he has to play it back to Veche. Veche with the cross. Talk back! We had to wait five minutes for the stadium to explode. What a finish by Tokmak after a brilliant cross. One near the Ferenc Varos, fifth minute. Such a great start to this Europa League campaign. Tokmak lays the ball out well to Boli. This could be a big chance. Boli is still going. Still! The rest is nothing. The rest is no foul. Zakariasa with the ball and Ref stops the attack because of the player on the ground. We are check for possible red card. So here he goes out now. What does he say? Does he give a red? He gives a red card to one of our players. What the hell? I, I don't really. I'm lost at this moment, to be honest. You saw better on the broadcast, for sure. 70th minute, Ferenc Aros are down to 10 men, and at this moment, I don't know what has happened. Maybe in the highlights, but... It's so strange now. I actually thought that they are checking for the red card for the opposition, but apparently they checked for us. So now, number 17, Adarcevic left the pitch. You have to play, uh, how many, like 75 minutes, down to 10 men. No foul and no handball according to the ref. Ooh, that was very close. Quite much space for traps on now. Oh, the ball comes through. Our keeper, our hero, Benes Dibus. What a guy. Message with the ball, left side, Tokmak. But he'll have soon three defenders around him. again what a counter they were just caught poor defending from them excellent attacking skills from us come on come on there are two things it rains which is nice but uh, they are checking the goal which is not so nice the goal is given. No, the goal is given. 2 0. 2 0 after half an hour for the home team, Ferenc Varos.
rain shower started to begin now after the 31st minute now it looks cool it has a good vibe because because we're in front obviously and Tokmak again and he's cross The goal is given actually. I'll show you. I think it was a foul in the middle of the park. I recorded that so you can see that on the screen now. It's, uh, it's pretty strange that it was that the play was was uh, continued. Being on off, left cross. Zakariasen. Our number 10, Tokmak, steps up. Pressure on him. Very enjoyable first half, full of events, five minutes of additional time now. First half traps on corner. Oh no, it looked dangerous and the rebound is still there. End of the first half. What an experience! There will be plenty of things to talk about. You should never ever underestimate a Turkish team. They can be so dangerous anytime. They just have the quality. But today the, the lads did not do that. They did not underestimate the opponent. But such a fighting spirit. I mean, we were better in the beginning. Uh, one nil up, then one man down. Then they had the post hit, which was probably their uh, biggest chance except the goal. And, uh, and then we, we were two up after a counter, which was uh, basically played out well. They were caught on the counter. Uh, a beautiful chip in the end from our new signing Adama Chaure and uh, we just wanted it more despite uh, being with 10 men. We just had actually the same attacking potential after uh, being one person less on the pitch. We just didn't stop. The, the, the guys just went on a pitch to fight. I'm so proud and it's, it, the whole place is jumping. It's, it's so crazy. The team contributes really to this wonderful night here uh, and obviously evening games they are uh, unrepeatable so uh, let's see about the second half i think this two goal lead is still very dangerous because we're with 10 men but uh, if the guys uh, carry on fighting like this uh, putting their whole spirit on the pitch 
then there won't be a problem. But uh, Trabzon, as I said in the beginning, are obviously very dangerous. Let's see about the second half. Ooh, that was very close. Bingo. Oh, great fake shot. Jesus. Oh, and with his left, with his weak foot, what a shot after an excellent fake shot. Oh, that's, this would have made the crowd go crazy. Hamshik. Cross. Our player is still on the ground, he's still on the ground and the ref doesn't stop the play. and out for a corner. Pokemon with a corner now. Insanely funny, 62nd minute, he just slid and didn't touch the ball. But the assistant actually believed that he touched the ball, so he pointed to the wrong direction. But now look at the traps or fans. He have, they have all the, their uh, oh, yeah, action up it. So let's look at the traps or fans. All the flashlights. He gets it out to Bingo. Message back. Traore. He handles it. And another skill. Mark Barcho now. And the ball still with traps on. Played back. Chance for a shot. Bartra. Oh, that's unfortunate. Three to seventy first minute. Seventy second minute, they get back to three two, so the last twenty. 25 minutes perhaps with additional time they will be insanely tough they're in a dangerous situation now uh, some of the Turkish fans are celebrating of course uh, they just kept plugging away uh, keeping their play on the attacking third and uh, then eventually our defense missed out on them and uh, their patience paid off they scored now uh, after making insane how many passes so yeah 3 2 20 minutes left perhaps now someone gonna counter Goyak and Zakarias on the right, and he should get the ball. He gets it now, a bit late perhaps. No, the shot is blocked. Another big counter chance. And a rebound. Oh, corner. Crazy atmosphere in the corner for us. And the rebound. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. What a save. Oh, it's in. Davis. Oh, it's so unfortunate. 3-3. Three, three. We didn't deserve this, in my opinion. Such great fighting spirit, but now they, in the 87th minute, got the equalizer. Given. 
Big Andros offside. It's over now. After the first half, we get another five minutes added in the end. And now there's a free kick for Trabzon from a really advantageous position. the time there could be one minute left it's so do drama if they equalize now Hamshik to Bartra these are the two names I actually know from Trabzon Sport as you probably noticed hey and then it's Bardi I'm almost crying. I was lost my voice towards the end. I was shouting so much when I didn't feel. Oh, so great. Also, this is allowed goal. We deserve this win so much. We played, I think, 80 minutes. Or probably 85 with all the additional time. With 10 men on the pitch. Oh, it's crazy. It's so good to gather three points on the first Europa League night. It's mental. Oh, I, I can't really, I can't really lost my words.
tonight here in Budapest, guys, seriously, two things we have to highlight definitely when we went 2 nil up, uh, the limbs after that absolute scenes and just like after the equalizer of Tabzon Sport was disallowed place was rocking heavily as you saw one of the best games i've experienced in uh, this stadium it feels so great especially because uh, in these recent years where we qualified europa league twice and the uh, champions league once we never managed to start with a victory i think uh, it happened last time out in uh, the 1995 Champions League group stage when we started uh, with a win actually so it's very very important and I think the players also deserved it also uh, obviously in the second half uh, Trouble Sport came out they were one man up uh, they they pressed us and uh, they, they put the pressure with loads of passes so it was really high concentration needed from uh, our players and it was uh, very risky at times as you saw and uh, we couldn't see the equalizer eventually but uh, it was uh, it was disallowed because of the of an offside decision. The red card was a clear red card. It was a silly foul, but uh, that's it. The, the video is <laughs> very long now, and uh, I think you saw uh, what this atmosphere was about. On the other game of this group uh, age, uh, Serena says a loss at home, uh, one nil against Monaco. Ferenc Varos continues next week in the Europa League away against AS Monaco. And that's it for today, guys. These are all the information I think you need to know. If you like what you saw, please give me a sub and a like. And uh, if you're up for more, join me on Instagram and on Twitter as well. I hope you, you like what you saw once more. And I uh, hope to see you next time on the channel. I was HFV. Take care. Bye.